Hi guys, hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kimpa M and if you are new, welcome, welcome and please click the subscribe button and also like my videos and to all my returning subscribers, I thank you so much guys for your support. Anyway, let me give you a quick update about one of your favorite shows, The Wife Season 3 and this is episode 34. So guys, on the previous episode, I need to be so Ushomo having a drinking problem. So today came when she was about to have that drink. She thought of Langa's words when he said alcohol won't fix all her problems and that Umtania needs her. So Ushomo decided to pack all the alcohol in the house to have it all thrown away. Anyway, guys, Uma Shomo went to see Isangoma, the one that told Um Kelly to fix the mess in his house. Isangoma told Uma Shomo that he was actually on his way to her house. Apparently, Uma Shomo and Isangoma and Um Kelly were supposed to meet up Le Kwaizulu and perform some ritual for Ulom, Um Tania. But Ushomo told Isangoma that na ngano benze le konke la kuswaizulu ba pisi ba renovate. Guys, I mean, like seriously, why would Uma Shomo lie to Isangoma like this na kon? I mean, I never saw this one coming. Shomo used to be so innocent, guys. Phew. Anyway, Isangoma asked if Um Kale will also join them. Then Um Shomo was like, Uzulu Opis over Manji, you know? She also gave Isangoma a brown envelope. And guys, we all know what a brown envelope is. a brown envelope. Anyway, guys, moving forward. On the previous episode, guys, again, Okoisi was wounded that continuing with mining, that legal mining, you know, Nai, might be dangerous, you know, but Okoisi insisted that the miners continue digging for those diamonds, you know. So the mine collapsed, guys, and killed seven people. And like town, like 10 houses were destroyed, guys. Okoisi has been mining illegal, uh, uh, that mine that has been closed for like years now. While one of the Zamizamas have confirmed to the police that they uh, were receiving their orders from people in high places. I do hope with the Hoysi guys, also the truth will come out on a lady eyes and with the Obawak Omoto because now the government of Obawak is all innocent. Anyway, guys, back to Esangomini. While Esangoma was busy with consultation, he told Omashomo that he does see his hair with Omtania, but Omkala is not in the picture said um Kaila is not the father went on and said um tanya unikazi la kwa zulu but akulona ilaga mkaila so isangoma ordered um ashomu to call the biological father because we are thinking for this ritual that they must perform for um tanya but ushomu told isangoma to try other ways you know the zulu brothers can find out about this but isangoma told her good uh -uh, there's no other way the ancestors are very angry as they speak while back le kwa zulu um Kaila was busy looking for Ulom, but she was nowhere to be found. Okay, Umkala even asked Utoli, but Utoli also had no idea what Ulom Ogopi saw. Uh, there and there, Ukawa received a call from Ulomo. Umashomo was like, I get one or two island things of Telayon, but Ulom. Um, tani, um, Yo, guys, the chalk like orange. He was so shocked. Ulo, Ukawe, you. Guys, Okawa is so surprised. Ushomo went on and uh, asked Okawa to come to the Sangoma, said they will talk about everything Magafiga, you know. And at this point, Okawa was still shocked, guys. Okay. He just stood there and said nothing. Omkala walked and then walked in and asked Okawa if he never saw Ushomo today. Ushomo, hearing that Omkala is asking about her, she then asked Okawa to not say anything. You guys, it's drama. <laughs> Okawa really looked like he just saw a ghost, you know. Like he just stood there and said nothing. He then hung up and walked away from Umkel. And then guys, obviously Um Ulo Okawe went to Umashomo while when he arrived there, he was so angry at Shomo for not telling him the truth about Umtania. But Isangoma told him Ogut now is not the time for him to be angry. All he needs to do now Ogut end the imbelego for Umtania and apologize to to the ancestors that he did not introduce his child to them. Isangoma said if they don't perform this ritual, Umtania will die and both Ushomo and Okawe will never be able to have children in the future you guys anyway Ulo Ona lady asked her father that they must have visited the families that have lost their loved their loved ones while it might collapse Ona lady also said as the shift tends they must also offer to bury those one that have passed away and that they must make sure that they find whoever is behind this and deal with them and guys, on the other hand, Utsidi is losing it. She talks and laughs with her dead husband, Usilo, as if Usilo is still around. Shem, Silo's death really broke her. She needs some professional help, Shem. 
And anyway, moving forward, Isangoma gave Ushomo and Kawe some muti uti by Kawa um Taniele especially. The motu was mixed with both their blood, you know, and it seems like Omo to save in Zili because not um Tanya u like <laughs> so Ushomo called Umkaila and told him that she is on the way. Uwe Isangoma. She also asked Isangoma to lie on her behalf. Mabafia Umkaila said Umkaila can find out. Ugut Umtania Akwen Waik. Like guys, Isangoma went on and among Ashomo. They made Umkaila to apologize to the ancestors. You all remember when Ushomo was pregnant. I think it was on season one. And then Umkaila was shared to a point where by Umashomo miscarried. Well, Umkaila apologized. And Alice sends us. Like, and Oshomo just stood there, guys, and watched Mkhele going through those emotions. Yo, guys, well, after Mkhele's fake apologies, they went straight to the hospital. Like, guys, it was just nice. Well, Mkhele was so happy, and then he bumped to a Sangoma. Uh, also gave Omkele the brown envelope that Ushomu gave him. Guys, at this point, Omkele Begungati, he was having a panic attack or nervous breakdown. Yo, Begunzim, in the day, you look. <laughs> anyway guys that's it for now i will see you again on the next episode bye for now <laughs>